Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay. So yes, on this video we are going to be doing the Nigerian tag drum roll. Um, some of you, most of you, have already seen the video of the Nigerian tag, so you know what it's about. It's basically just us. This is a different version. We are from Delta State. So if you didn't know that Delta worry State, to be worry precise. to be precise. Delta State, we have beautiful girls. We have fine girls too. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's about time I start shining some light to Deltas. Yes, it's about time. We don't say not a lot of us out there. So mm -hmm. period. Yeah, like so if you are from um, Delta State, make sure to subscribe to this channel wherever you're from. Anyway, like subscribe, this video, like this video. Please leave a comment in the comments. So yeah, I'm going to be asking her and myself. I'm going to be answering a few questions about our experience being from Delta State, worry to be precise, or um, cities around the world. I'm not from the world. I'm from Udu. So let's just say we're going to talk about our experience being a Delta from worry slash Udu. So yes. Keep watching, leave your comments in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in a minute. So, yeah, I have questions that I've written down here. And the very first question I'm going to ask is What is your name? My name is Mone Arite Shoma. I know most of you don't know that my name is actually Faith, but my name is Faith. Wow, quite I'm always answering my first name, Arite Shoma. So, she's the local name. Oh, Tishoma. 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 I thought that was an English name. What do I buy? Yeah, Shekimi, of course. Tishoma. Okay, me, I'm Eloho. You already know. I'm an Urobu girl, full blooded Urobu girl. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> okay. yes. So, yeah, that's why I said I'm from. Where exactly are you from? Okay. Here? Well, we south. In Beijing. I'm from Mori South. Okay, and me, I'm from Udu. Like I am from Udu, full brother with you. My both parents are from Udu. So that's why I said it's going to be worry slash Udu. And people kind of misunderstand when you say you are from Udu. They be like they don't know where Udu is. Yeah, they, like, you know they generalize the all oh. of what every every place in the way to just be, be worried. Be it who be it, be it Udu. Who gelly everywhere is your worry. And that's not true. That's not how it works. Everywhere, these are different cities, different, lo different local governments yeah, here yeah, in yeah. the south. Yeah. So not everybody you see be like, oh, I'm from where we are not actually from where. I remember when I was schooling in the um, um, Republic then, when you tell someone that I'm from Udu, they say, which one is Udu? Is worry. But the people that really know where you be like, I'm from where be like, okay. where, where, where are you from? from? <laughs> yeah, they know the real worry. So she's the real worry, and me, I'm Udu. So yes, let's start with the question. And um, where are you from here in Delta State? You already answered the question. The local name. I teach you. I teach you. My name is Elo Hall. And where were you born in Nigeria? Mm, yes, of course. Where? <laughs> where? Yes, I, I was wish, born in Nigeria. I wish I was not born in Nigeria. Why is everybody born in Nigeria? Now, I wish I was not born in Nigeria. I wish I was born maybe like. Maybe. You know, you know where I want to talk about? The UK. Yeah. Maybe I was born. I was born in the UK. Okay, <laughs> so you wish you were not born in Nigeria? No, 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 I love to be in Nigeria. No, it's a good thing I was born in Nigeria. It's a good thing I'm Nigerian, so. But, but I just with the, with the present situation in Nigeria, you just wish you just want yeah, to not to. Everybody wants it. to run away from Nigeria. I think. Okay, so have you lived somewhere else before leaving for school? Not really. I've so, only traveled. Okay. You know, like I've, I've le I, like I lived all my life in Worry. I, I only travel to places then. I always come back home. Okay. Same here. Basically, I live all my life in Udu. So, <laughs> <laughs> I have to be calling the names for what it is. Yeah, so, you do, yes. so, yeah, I've lived all my life here. I, I don't, like, I do travel, but then I come back. I always come back home is home. Home is home. Go home. home is so, home. how was your experience? Your experience living in Wari? Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I know, like, I have, like, a very interesting experience mm -hmm. because. Growing up, I grew up in a part of Bori where my mom was kind of like restricted. She restricted our movement and everything. But then after my primary school, like, I'm not going to lie, like I don't remember most of my childhood memories. After my maybe after my primary school, I was just sent to a boarding school, mm -hmm. and I did the whole, of, spend the whole of my life there. The so if school, I come yeah. back home, I'm always indoor or I'm at my mom mommy's shop. Then from the shop to the house, from the house to the shop, from the, like that just like that was like my very my shadow very thing. simple. Then the next you see me in school, that was just it. That experience, my shadow experience was I cannot remember it. Most of my family classes, I don't remember them. Don't remember I them. Don't remember I think them. same year, same year. I don't, I don't remember them. But I'll say for me, I kind of like 
live to live like i had the full experience of being like growing up in mm. Udu and living in Udu in Wari Dutta State and for me it was a fun experience but there's this thing when you mix like, when you are really mixed with Wari or Wafians Wari people when you are mixed with them there's this blood that they have and the vibe it, is just like yeah everybody's, like every, but I think that is so, common with, in, with Nigerians in general whether you are abroad or like you were born and brought up abroad yeah so long you are nigerian it's just you have there, that nigerian you have this, spirit yeah it's in you like there's no how you are going to say oh i'm, not, I'm nigerian but i'm still, no, i'm not really nigerian Oga, like it's madam, there, you're you nigerian <laughs> the spirit is in you it's living yeah. in you that's just it. so that's it like i had that experience and for me it was i'll say fun somehow and in another way it wasn't so fun because i grew up speaking that pigeon english mm, and you I'm, can imagine that I'm, it's just now that i'm <laughs> now to speak english I remember the first time I went to school, when I came to secondary school. When I was in secondary school, my seniors used to be like, they used to punish us for speaking pigeon in okay. But it's a government school, so you cannot just stop somebody from yeah. speaking pigeon. So, when I went to school, when I saw my friends, I saw that some my friends, my roommates, they were speaking English. Like, my friends from um, the northern part of Nigeria and the south south yeah. of Nigeria, they were speaking, I was like, ah, ah. I, called, I called my sister, I said, ah, Lisa. Yeah, this is what they speak to you. They speak English show. Ever I said, say she won't do me. Like I could literally not speak. Not like I cannot speak English. But you be missing. But I'm it. not fluent. Yeah, you be missing. The vision in this child has to come inside. It has to come inside. That was just the problem. But now, yeah, yeah I think it's now, better yeah, now. it's better for me. I would say it's with better. With the experience, with the kind of people Living. we've met, yeah, we've met kind of people we've met, and the it just makes you get better in English. So that's it. So the next question is, what language do you speak? It's Shakiri. I speak it Shakiri. Really? You speak it Shakiri fluently? Mm-hmm. fluently? But you understand it? I well. understand and I can speak, but I'm not fluent. Uh, well, I. Just, just like me learning French as well. Mm. I, I can write in French, I can speak, but I'm not fluent. Really? You can write I, in French? I went to French wow. school now. Okay. After my after I went to French okay, school. Okay, went to French school. Wow, that's nice. Learn French, but I cannot speak French, but I can just write, I can read. So when you go to Benin, you can uh, communicate, communicate with them? Yeah, everything. Wow. This, for me, I can say, <laughs> allow me to be the chiefest. For me, I can say that I understand it a little bit. I'm an Urubu girl, so mm-hmm. sometimes, which is very disappointing, our mothers and fathers, they don't really take teaching their children, passing the language to their children mm-hmm. very seriously. Genesis so so now it's meant for us to go and find out, like learn the language ourselves. Like no, when you look at other religion, make them yeah, other um, tribes, yes. like Yoba, Igbo, okay, funny enough, in my In my area, there's this little girl. Mm. Did I hear this girl speaking their language? They are from Aushi. Mm. And they, she's like, they speak their language so well. So well. I think I guess she'd be like five, six years. When she was speaking it, like, I know you one English. It was wow. just a language. Just a also. language. No so, one. And, you know, I didn't, even, I didn't realize that this was actually And they are in Wavi. You know, like, they are staying in the village. They are in Wavi. They are staying. No, for me, I'm like, far from home, but I, they can I speak their language. Ujo, and I will say that I'm picking it one one. It's ah. very shit. I'm not even proud of it. And I'm learning it myself. So I'm like, when, when, when we left Udu, like left Wari to go out and stay somewhere else, that's when you now value your language. Yeah, because you, you want to communicate with someone, with someone that understands you, you cannot. You can't, you'll be doing that's one one. More, uh, yeah, my guy, mm. like it's very annoying for me. That's why he said you could speak your language or understand yeah, I it. I was, ha- I was happy for you, but for me, I'm yeah, learning it now. Speak, I'm not proud of it. I can't come and be like, hey, I don't know how to speak it and so forth. It's annoying, it's sad that I don't know how to speak it. And I'm yes, and I'm doing my best to learn every day. But when you travel out to different really countries or some uh, different states, you hear them speak their language and all that. So it's quite mm-hmm. shameful for me. But other than that, I can speak English, Pigeon English, Francais, Petit Petit. Oui. On peut, on peut. M, on peut, on peut. Merci. <laughs> oui, merci. But you get the vibes, anyways. Yeah. So, um, next question here is What part of Dirty State are you from? From Wari South. Wari South. Wari South. Wari South. Wari South. Wari South. I'm from Udu. So, yeah. Because you know the difference. There is Wari South and there is Udu. These yes. are two different local government areas. Yeah. And though Wari, we have like three Wari local governments. We have the Wari South, Wari North, Wari Central, which is in general. I think within the airport roads mm-hmm. and all those areas are like Wari mm-hmm. Central. But most of our villages, 
and the, I think the Ijob village is too. Mm. They are Wari South, Wari South West as well. Oh, okay. Which is Ogbijo, Wari South West. Okay. And some other communities under there. Yeah, so you are so, learning now. And then there's Ugeli, there's, there's Ugeli, there's, Udu, there's, uh, there's Ika, there's Asaba. There's Jeremy, are, there's. There are different places here. It's just that open, everybody just open, 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 yeah. yes, close, Everybody close just generalizes well. it as worry. 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 My friend that told me she was coming to Uge. She said she was coming to worry. Then when worry, she said Uge. I said that's not no worry. worry. I said that's quite far from where I'm located. <laughs> that's not really worry. You're going to Uge. You get so there are different things. People just generalize it. So, so the difference. Yeah. Next question is. What was the biggest misconception about you when you tell people you are from worry? They feel like I'm supposed to be, I'm meant to be reverse. Like, or I'm meant to be. You see, I think because we schooled <laughs> in the same place, we just have similar experience. I'm meant to be reverse. I'm meant to be. Like, 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 like when you tell people that I'm, I'm from worry, they say, hey, here we are, here we are. Like, it's very annoying. It's and not I'm not going to lie, I'm saying this. Lagos people, <gasps> Lagos people, they are God. more reverse than worry people. Like, Lagos it's so annoying. Story for, story for day. It's so annoying. Like you just be like, where are you from? Where you say, hey, the bread butter, Abby. Guy, I don't just speak butter. I start breaking it. I'm walking around. Like, you know, the moment you speak Persian English, eh, they just ever they just yeah. Worry girl, okay. okay, like that problem. Please. But no, it's not like that. We're Please, like that. I experience the same thing. Like no, not everybody worries for us. Okay. <laughs> That's soft, sick as soft. But to change, girls. change the narrative. Please, change the please. narrative. We're not like that. <laughs> okay. So, next question is What was your favorite thing about growing up in Delta State? Mm, it's being able to speak Pigeon English. Like, I can express myself, I can do whatever I want to do in Pigeon. You are not going to shut me up, you are not going to beat me. For me, it's being vocal with my language. And you know, we all know Pigeon English is general Nigerian language, like, it's a general language yeah. in Nigeria, but. No, the worry vibe is different. different. The worry feeling is different. How it sounds. When they worry you now, you know, like they like. <laughs> the way it sounds, everything. Again. I love. I like. I love that part for me. I love for me, it's going part. up. My favorite thing about going up, I honestly don't have any. Okay, like I don't have any. I well, no. See, I'm sorry, but I don't have any favorite thing about going up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Period. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next question. What is your Nigerian dream right now? To be, I think currently, currently, to be a well-known personality in the whole industry, industry, entertainment, mm. social media mm. industry. Yes, and I think you are doing well for yourself. You are building your brand, and that's nice. And for me, my Nigerian dream, I think I would want to be successful in my business. A lot of people mm-hmm. want to run out of Nigeria. I think oh, Nigeria is bad. No. I would want to travel like you sit out. Down, yes, I said, like I said, home is home. Home is home. So I like to have my but brand if here. If I see business. the opportunity to you, Jackpa. <laughs> But people are making money in Nigeria. Nigerians are making money. Like, business people are like investing. Nigeria, okay. Yeah, people are like investing Nigeria. business while they're making money from from Nigeria. So I feel like I can do that and I could own an apartment somewhere else in another country yes. just to chill, vibe with my family and when I'm coming back to Nigeria for my business. Because if I do business, if I want to make it here, I believe I can make it here. Yes, How I think is not the same way you think. You want to jackpot. That's all right. Me, I want to jackpot too. But I want to have something There's here. A boss. Yeah. Like I want to build something here. I believe that Nigeria could be one work could work out for me. Mm-hmm. So I would want to build something firm on the ground. So for it, no, me. most people that I think most people I don't know some majority of people the persons that are like you and I mm. they want to like build me, something here. Yes. But I want to because, travel for just vacation. Yeah. Just to visit like different countries yeah. as many as I can. Yeah. But because of the way things are in Nigeria, that's why I think that's is I think it's influence that's making them want to run. Run, yeah. So that's for that anyways. So the next question is mention five local governments or is it cities in Delta State? Cities. Is this city we or cities. local governments? We have cities. <laughs> Asaba is a city. Yeah. Asaba, Asaba, Asaba. Yeah. Asaba worry. Is it a fool a busy there, let me say, um, Udu. this Udu. Is it Udu? Is it a city or a local government? It's a local government, it's not a city. <laughs> okay. But there's a city in this, and this bush is this Oya. Yeah. Uh, but those ones are not local government. Oya is a local government, and this no, under Udu. Udu is, yes, under Udu. Uh, so what does that make it? Oh, oh God, God. We, are, we feel so ashamed. We cannot list five cities. I don't know, cities. but you know the, the, popular, Delta the popular cities in Wari? Asaba. We have Asaba. In Delta State, we have Asaba. We have Osubi Wari. because of the airports. Okay. We have Osubi. Then so we have Osubi is not part of Wari. No, Osubi okay. is near Wari. Osubi is under Okpe. Okay. Near Wari. So Osubi. Osubi, then Wari. 
Worry in general is a yeah, worry is a size different different places. So. so we've listed three now. Go, we could only list three out of Oh my see we'll go and check Google for that. Jesus But what I'm saying is a city veg is a city. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's not local government. It's not where it's that local government. So it's the city. So we have to go and Google cities in. Cities well, we're ashamed. Yes, I have yes. to check. I have to See, check. Mm-hmm. you, if you are from Delta State, you can leave comments. Leave your yeah, hey, Let us know yeah, if the yeah, cities in Warwick. We yeah. can leave them in the comment so, section. So, <laughs> we'll Google that. Next question on my list here is, what would you say is Delta State landmark? Hmm. I don't know. What is Delta State known for currently? Like a landmark that Delta State has? Mm-hmm. For me, I would say, Agbo Water Park, it's a new water park that's currently working in Delta State. It's located mm, in Agbo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. It's the biggest water park in West Africa. In West Africa I think all that is making people. I think most people that have seen that have visited that video are the most people from Benin. Benin, yes. Okay, and I think Delta State has many. Land- landmark is. What is there landmark? Different location, like some, something you can use to describe a place. Yes. So Agbo is there. We have um, Delta State. We used to have man-made um, beach. We have, we used, uh, Makati beach. Makati beach is a man-made beach. We used to have. Beach. I I I really wish the uh, one park. I don't know if you guys know, but if you check Google, mm. Fakop Mangrove Park. Okay. I really wish that place would work. So it's closed now. It was really yeah. It was like a zoo, mini zoo. They uh, had wild animals. Really, little not like they had really really yeah, lions. Yeah, few animals. Few animals there. Yeah. They had like it's not like nature. The old mangrove thing. The old nature. Whatever. Mm-hmm. It's very beautiful, but it's closed down now. Not like it's closed down. It's no longer the animals. They die. Like it's no longer functioning properly. But last time I spoke to the owner of the place, he said he was working on it. Like he's trying to bring it back, but I honestly wow. don't know now. Okay. So I'll, I'll say we have the Agbo Water Park, we have mm-hmm. the Makati Beach, we have, um, there's a tree that brings that water for okay. me. Um, I've forgotten the name of that tree, but I have it on my channel, so I'll put it there for you to go and check it out. So yes, I know a thing or two. Ah, they try now, I'm going to clap for me, no easy. <laughs> okay, what is another name for people that is from Hawaii? Huh? You are supposed to know. There's another name. Wafaya. Uh-huh. Wafaya. Yes. Like, I wanted to see. I was like, no, don't you know disappoint. They call, they call Wari Wafi. So, Wafi. Wafi, Wafarians. That's the that's, that's second name for people that is from Wari. So, when you hear Wafarians, you just know that they are referring to people from Wari. So, yes. The next question here is, as a Wafarian, do you, would you, what do you say when the light comes on? Up Nepal. <laughs> Nepal don't be light. <laughs> They don't be like, they don't be like, they don't be like, oh God. Because I don't know why we do not have like, we are suffering. Worry, we are it's suffering not fully like, worry. I think Nigeria, Nigeria but it home. depends on the places in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But when they bring like, ah, they don't be like, hey, look, thank God. Up thank Nepal, God. No. Nepal don't be like, go off this year. And before you know it, they're Black taking out. the light again. We are suffering, yeah. We are suffering. So the next question is, what is the most embarrassing thing you left you? You felt wait, what was the most embarrassing thing when you left Warwick for the first time? The f- and most embarrassing thing you did outside when you left Warwick for the first time. Hmm. Can I remember? Okay, I remember. The first time I left Warwick, well, I was in the second school. I yeah, no, like when you went to school. So when I went to school. Yes. Something that you did that you felt that you felt was embarrassing to you. Hmm, I Let me tell you mine. I remember very well. We went to first light, you know first light. Pekadis yes, Junction. Pekadis Junction. And that was my first time there hanging out with friends as a hundred level student. So guys, cute guys were there, cute girls were there. And everybody bought, <laughs> and they bought drinks for us, everybody should drink. Me as a worry girl now, everybody everybody saw that I don't know why they were sitting there. I don't pick up my boat. <laughs> and then I opened it to everybody <laughs> thought to look at me. It was so embarrassing, you guys. Yeah. Like, I can't remember mine. Like, it was so embarrassing. I just, I realized everybody was looking at me. I was like, what's up? They started hailing me. Hey, where you hey, going? I wasn't thing. feeling fly. I was feeling embarrassed, okay? Well, <laughs> I was feeling embarrassed. The moment, they not understand. So since then, whenever I go out, it's not for me to share anything. I just don't. Being right. open now for me, let them open it. I won't use my teeth again. Sorry. Thank you very much. So the next, ah, I even use my teeth to open for somebody. <laughs> Someone else was there, I was like, can you open my for me? <laughs> and I was like, yes. I was even like, happy, yes. It was like, oh God, I, when I got to that, day, I started thinking about it, like, ah, I just fucked up, Jesus. Why? I can't go back to well, one time. The only time. expense I had in school was, when they made it a new 
Because I had someone in Benet already that went to me. Mm. Uh, made me went to, uh, that made me go to Benet. Okay. So she already like made people already knew me before I even landed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everyone was like, she's my sister. She's my sister. sister yeah. really that close. So when I came, I was like, ah, worry, when I like worry mm-hmm. persons. The other girl, other girls, I do. Someone, maybe someone from Blue too, claiming worry. <laughs> Uh, but the way it shows the girl, that's that. 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 <laughs> really? the girl. But that's what that's I was what like, said. let's bring Google map. But we will not be worried. You know they do that. <laughs> eh? We will not be worried. But that's what everybody does. Everybody just say that for worried. So that's what I said. No, you're not for asking me. I'm from Boris. I look. What's your look? You said Boris. Look. I said it's Boris. Too worried. I said, worried. I said ah. Oh. I mean, are you forgetting Boris? Boris is a local up. government and really not a city mm. because we have different places under the worry. So what are you saying? Like uh, okay. okay okay okay. Hmm. Next question is, what is your favorite Nigerian meal? Like Nigerian dish. Hmm. That's to be a wussu. Mine is ogolo soup. Ah ah. Correct pounding yam. Ah ah. No bumbanga. <laughs> no bumbanga <laughs> soup. It is ogolo soup. <laughs> I just love that soup. No, I can't get tired of it. I like all very well. Okay, what advice would you give your friend who is visiting Worry for the first time? If you are coming to Worry, I would advise you no mm-hmm. night movements. Right. Like there are some places that you shouldn't go at night. Um, your movement should quite should be restricted. restricted your night yeah. movement should be restricted. Not like really really restricted. But if you have a means of transportation, that's okay. It's okay. You yeah. can move at night. But when you know you are going to be up on bikes or up on and cars, so you don't and, know. Um, you have to be very I think it's for everywhere actually. It's everywhere in the whole of Nigeria. You have to be safe. Then again, I, I would advise you relate with the locals because they are really welcoming, they yeah. are friendly, yeah. so they can push you through. And also try our delicacies. We must try banga soup. Banga soup, I don't know much about the people best like, in banga soup. They don't Let's like old soup, but. You robo, must try. I you must try. Worry, robo. This as I mean, almost at, all, almost all the. You see this? What, the three language like that in worry. Yeah, are uh, almost near worry. The hijos, the shakiris, the robos. Everybody our, our prepare. Banga we prepare banga soup. And like that's like a general food. Yeah. Always yeah. banga soup. Yeah. Make sure you try banga soup. Like, do not leave worry without trying banga soup. If not, I will come for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what is the biggest misconception you hear about worry when you go out? And like, I think it's the same thing. It's like the same thing. Just, just assume what is what Yes, what is what? What is the get people? To? People believe that when you are walking around, they will just hold you and yes, take your bag and take like, your phone. When you shut they up they your mouth, yes, you do yes, any of those. They will harass you. Don't stuff like that. It happens everywhere. So when you act like you are a novice, people like want that. to take advantage what of you. What is not like that? What is a beautiful place to visit? Very amazing. It's very welcoming and the security too. Also depends on where you are going to worry. So the vibe here is just different. You're not going to see this vibe for any other part of Nigeria. Else again. So shout out to Wafere and South Africa. Shout out to our fellow people. To, people. People. to do people the houses around, you know what we're talking in about. Fact, the that the because Asaba. Let's not yes. talk about Asaba. Asaba is a different <laughs> vibe. On its own. So the whole of Delta State, shout yeah. out to you guys. Yes. So the next question is who do you okay, what what do you okay, how do you open a bottle of coke? See, like I said before, I used to do that, but I stopped after that experience I had. I always make sure when I do it, it's like funny enough, one out of ten. The us to drink it, it is there. Yeah, but for me, but when, but if I'm in a situation where there's no opener, yeah, I know most people they use spoon. I don't know how they do, they to, use do spoon to do it. Me, they yeah, use I would top see to the extent that when I don't want to use my teeth, I'll look for a table to just. I don't eat know. I don't know. I feel like the boss is going to break. Break, yeah. But for me, what me, what made me restrain for I that know it's was not that good experience. Though, I know it's not no, it's, it's not bad. I just had the bad experience about it. So that's that they crack their teeth that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So me, I use an opener, or I look for a button, knock it on to open. Well, we girls, that's come out. <laughs> okay, last question here is: What is um the pronunciation? Okay, what is the most funniest wrong pronunciation you heard here in Wally? You know what I mean? Like something that people will say, be like pronunciation. Uh-huh. Yes, and it's wrong. That people say a lot and it's wrong. The pronunciation. I know one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What the? Pronounce what's the correct pronunciation of oye? Oye. Oye. Okay. Oye. It's oye. Where are people that oye? I don't buy oye. I don't buy oye. I don't buy red oye. I don't buy granite oye. I don't buy generator oye. No, it's not oye. No, it's oye. It's oye. Okay. Oye. Even me that is oye. Oye. It's a quality. It's a quality. It's a quality. So we're part of those people, okay? 
were part of those just, people. Just that we're great. Yeah. Part of so, like I said, that's the last question here. And thank you guys for watching today. Thank you guys end. so much for to watching. To all my Welfarians, to all my Daltons out there, make sure you subscribe. Share this video. Leave your like. comments in the comment section. Check out our, our YouTube channel. Check out our link and so, for Instagram. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys. Bye. Bye.